Yu-Gi-Oh! has changed a lot. Yes. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how. Because these are five things we never thought we would ever see happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! And here we are today. I'll kick it off with hand traps. I never thought I would see the day that hand traps became so mainstream. Right, they're played in every day. Like, and in mass, you know, like six hand traps, nine at least, hand at, traps. At least six. And, you know, when you think about what hand traps were before, right? Like, D.D. Crow, maybe? I mean, Effect Railer eventually came out. Mm -hmm. Honest. If you want to count cards like Honest and Kalu. Yeah. I'm counting Kalu. Kalu was raining at three. It was a main hand trap. It was, it was the hand But even then, that was only black wings. Yeah, it was know? on the one day. And then now we're at this point where we've almost had, like, this, you know, wave of hand traps. Ash, Ghost Ogre, Droll, like, you know, just uh, Ghost Bell and all these other things, Ghost Reaper where you have to run them to compete. It's like it's the standard. It's just like it's what's expected, you know? Mm -hmm. And they're not like, getting blown out. And they sell like a double purpose where they be tuners and shit. Yeah, they, they seem to do that too. They give them these purposes. I mean, does anyone remember when Effect Railer came out? And like, it was, you know, weird. I don't remember that it, time period. It was sometime around Duelist Rev. Duelist yeah, D-Rev, I think. And uh, was, was it in that set? Yeah, I mean, it was in Duelist It was around Rev. that time. It was sometime around that. And, and people thought, like, this card's not that great. It's not that great. Maybe you'll side deck it. You know, they maybe two. I tour guy wasn't that great when it came out. Yeah, and I mean, like, then here we are now where it effectively has been power crept. I mean, it's it, been it's, power it's, crept. It's yeah, like, power crept, but it really came back. I'm cool. It's starting to be played now. Yeah, it, yeah, because it doesn't have that, that once per turn clause. You can draw two and both of them are alive. And so now we're at this point where, you know, we've gone from, uh, Baylor's okay, maybe you're like a, you know, a hipster if you main deck it, to six, ten hand traps, however many hand traps you need. I mean, now we have to run counters to the hand traps. That's true. You know what I mean? How many hand traps does your trickstar deck run? Because uh, you, you include punish in yours, don't it? Sometimes. Uh, but really just six. No, okay. Really just six. I mean, I don't know. Now, like BA, this, uh, 11. Do what? I play B eleven and BA. Wait, what are your? What are That's your, what I'm saying. What are they eleven? I play. <laughs> Wait, what? I play three draw. I play three Ash. I play two. Uh, I play three draw, three Ash, three Vela, and I play two of the ritual. That's too damn. Yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> and I mean, that's where we are now. That's a headache. But the thing is, I mean, the hand traps they they have the advantages of, you know, they're hard to play against. How do you stop hand traps, really? You know. I mean, right. that card's out there, but do you want to dedicate the deck space for him? That's yeah. the question. He dedicated the deck space to play on hand traps, and it stops hand traps. Yeah, that's where we are now. A, a Cypher Gamma, it's the hand trap that stops hand traps. And then but the with the normal monster better. with it. Sephira. And, yeah, yeah, with the normal monster. The Richard's probably by the better. Great. It might take But I think it, just re it really just comes down to hand traps get the job done of they do it the, the spells and the traps we no longer play in the deck. Yeah, it's true. You know, because um, now, going to our next topic, um, we no longer play removal. Um, Dark Hole, Raigeki. Torrential Tribute, Tribute, Mirror Force. Mirror Force, we no longer play any types of Like Mass Removal's gone. Remove. Um, mostly, I think that mostly has to do with the fact that we got monsters and monsters and, and, and cards that... Stuff floats. Like, everything floats now. Yeah. I think Mass <laughs> Removal probably went away because everything is a damn Stardust now. It yeah, like it's true. And, shit, and it, <laughs> it doesn't even have to leave the field. That's it's true. it's like one of three things. Either it's like this card cannot be destroyed by card effects, mm -hmm. so or when this card is destroyed by a card effect and goes to the grave, you this get back this green bed. This big motherfucker that's in the grave, <laughs> or or it's like Trigate Wizard, or you know, Vortex Dragon. Just, it's like okay, Dark Hole in the game, and then you're just sitting there. So I mean, we do have the mass removal, but it's so different now. Like now, it's evenly matched. Mm -hmm. Or like maybe raw sphere mode, I guess, if that counts. You know what kind of card it should make? Hmm. A card that blows up all the monsters on the field, and then it, and then it says this effect cannot be negated. Maybe. I mean, I don't why, know. You want, why do you want that problem? <laughs> yeah, at least it'll get played then. Let's remember a slightly come back. I feel like I just never thought we'd see the day that like Raigeki would be unbanned and Unplayed. not played. <laughs> like, like it's maybe a side deck card right now. Like, I don't know, that just blows my mind, I guess. Mine's just sitting in the body. Yeah, it's, Along it's with like, you know. Many of yours. It took me a long time to get one. I finally got one and I still signed it. And I was like, I'm definitely gonna make it. Got it, but still signed it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it just, yeah. It I mean, it really just comes down to that fact that 
I mean, we really don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it. The combos and the monsters do the job for you, and it's not. But even with that, it's also besides Mass Removal, do we actually need any spells to traps these days? That's true. Because we also a good point. Also a good point. That's true. Because look at cards that are that are no longer. We don't play traps limited. anymore. Compulsory evacuation device really it, yeah. gets rid of every extra deck problem that can be targeted. And yet, yeah, and yet, yeah, yeah, no one plays it. it. No one plays. I never thought I'd see the day we'd have like three bottomless, three torrential, three mirror force, three compulse. It's like, and no one's using any of that. Cause I remember my oh, mate back in the day, I could not wait to run a bottomless trap all in. Trouble. I was so excited when that went to three. I was like, oh, yes, like, you know, traps are back. No, it's not. like a guilty player, and then you realize, ew. Yeah, Especially exactly. with Pendulum being a day at the time. Uh huh. Oh, like, yo, yo. And you know, they've even they've given us more spell and trap removal than ever, and mm -hmm. it's not even, like, really played. Not even played. Unless it's going to stay in your combo. If it's not going to be Foolish Barrier, Dragon Shrine. Yeah, because those are, cause that's the spells and traps that are used. No yeah, one's setting yeah. stuff. I. I think it's crazy that we have more traps legal than ever before, more spell and trap removal legal than ever before, <clears throat> and neither one, like even like one of the only traps that people side deck is a trap that stops other traps and can be activated from the hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the only way for traps to work is for them to activate from the hand. Like it's, yeah, that's nuts to me. Another thing that kind of feels weird about Yu-Gi-Oh right now is we don't really have like a mid game. There's no mid game. There's no late game. Like. Games get decided in the first turn. It's usually beginning of the game, end of the game. Yeah, like it just, it just goes from like, I mean, going first has always been a good thing in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you get to play first, but I think that nowadays it's like, I mean, going first really decides it all. Yeah, because we're not saying spell trust, so there's no grind game. So yeah, you, first three turns, this could be the whole duel. Mm -hmm. And I would make it different because I mean. Uh, not like, like like we just sat here and said the way that people are not playing traps and they're only playing select hand traps some decks can play through those hand traps That's some true. decks can play second i mean I, I feel like you got that first turn that second turn to survive that first turn but shit, the first and, and second turn ain't gonna last you 25 minutes of the, of the game <laughs> exactly then you play tricks on you here's what's funny time. about what you said actually because going first is so strong, it's become a niche to even have a deck that can play second. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, go yeah. second spirals. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like, that's, that's a thing. That's a thing. Like, <laughs> wow, this is one of hundreds of decks that can actually kind of go, go second. second. Like, that's <laughs> like, it, that we've reached that kind of a point. And I think it changes the way that cards like Pot of Desires mm -hmm. is played. I feel like if Pot of Desires was released, you know, several years back, it might be seen as bad because you'll banish these useful cards that you'll need for it grinding and stuff but does it actually matter now that's wild if you think of it in a going second deck and you playing pot a desire so you actually start your turn with seven cards that's deadly yeah it's actually really good that's deadly when the other like the other five cards that you start your second turn with i really do something are combo pieces yeah and 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 you could burn 10 off the top <clears> of the deck and get two more columns um where you put your cards on the field that matters now that didn't matter before um now yeah. you, you, you have to pay more attention to where you're placing stuff. It can win you or lose your game if you place your card in the middle of the field. Yeah, there's like three or four different archetypes now that all do something a little bit different with columns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, <clears throat> to me, it seems like it might be kind of tedious, but I feel like you should not be able to play in an event if your mat doesn't have columns. I agree. I, the way stuff is going now, I feel like it should be, you, you should have And Nationals, that. that came up. There was somebody, there was some ruling discrepancy, I don't know what it was. Some guy played a card and said he played it in this column, and his opponent's like, no, you played it here. And his opponent, like, won the ruling, like, the judge sided with him because his opponent had a mat that had zones, and, like, in columns, and he'd been, like, accurately following them, whereas his opponent had been just kind of, like, putting stuff wherever. And, like, that matters now. Like, all these Link monsters, all these arrows, mech knights getting teched in, like... But that's not gonna change overnight though, because it's like how long have we not had to worry about columns in, in the game of Yu Gi Oh? We knew they were there. Yeah, we knew they were there, but you but just play stuff wherever there. you want. And we still go to local tournaments and regionals and play without them. I still sometimes put like fusions and synchros and just yeah, them down, down there in the main box. I was like, oh yeah, so it's how do you really stop that right now? Yeah, it's gonna take it's take it's an adjustment period, honestly. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, I think that's one of the only like change. That's one of the major changes that we talked about. That actually like just affects gameplay in general. Yeah. Because like, I mean, not, well, yeah. It affects like how you look at it. Yeah. 
Like you actually look at the game board differently. Now. Exactly, exactly. Like yeah, the other yeah, stuff is just because it's also the link arrow, so you, mm-hmm. you, you really yeah. have to think more. Like every all the other things we mentioned were just like power creep stuff, but like this is literally like it's different. Like you view the game board differently. Literally everything has a has a place now. Yeah, like Calvin just said with the with link monsters now, you've been able to summon them in certain zones and get certain effects. Yeah, like. And if you that put something in the difference. wrong, if you put a link in the wrong spot, oh, your turn. Your, your combo yeah. might end. Your combo's messed up. Like it's, it, oh, it's I crazy. Did that and in fact, and, and contrary to popular belief, I don't know what your opponent's telling you. No, you cannot move your cards around unless it said. Oh you no! Yeah, you can, they cannot can't be do doing that. that. So I mean, all in all, like, do you guys think that these changes have been like good or bad? Like just in general, right? The speed, the less spells and traps. Change is the, inevitable. So good. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Really I think for the I think for the most good. part, um, I mean, just with the way people play the game <clears> now, the new cards that are coming out, new archetypes, um, it's necessary. Besides hand traps, I don't like them. I think hand traps are amazing. <clears throat> I think if they make C, I don't I don't care for hand traps. Yeah, I don't know. I'm mixed. Like I think that the changes are good. I think my only gripe, like from Konami's end, is they should probably offer people who don't like all of this power creep. To maybe be able to play their own like format or something. That's true. But as for me, I mean, I think it's good. Change is inevitable. It's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So it, we're just keeping up with the game. But that concludes the video. We want to know what you guys think, though. Let us know down in the comments. Do you, you know, like what crazy things did you never think you would see happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like ten years ago, but now it's like just the norm. She breeze me fifty dollars. That too. I don't know how that happened. That, I don't know how that happened, but that too. Know. It happened because of you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the video. We want to know what you guys think. Let us know down in the comments. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Ring the bell so you'll know about all of our new videos. And I think that's going to be it. Oh, you know something else? Video list is at three. Hey, that's it. That's true. Peace.